This is Math 99, and this is Section uh, B for the Trigonometry Unit. And what we're going to do is start to use what we know about trig to, to find some missing sides in some triangles. So, for example, if I have a 60-degree angle here, and I know this hypotenuse is 15, and then that this side is x long, um, I want to find that x. I want to find that missing side. So the first thing I'm going to do is think about which trig function I should use. If I, if I know this angle, notice that I have the adjacent side and the hypotenuse. So adjacent and hypotenuse, ka, ka, that'd be cosine. So I know that cosine of 60 degrees would equal the adjacent side, which is x, which I don't know, over 15. Great, so uh, solve for x. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 15. 15 times cosine of 60 degrees is equal x. So now cosine of 60 degrees. Um, I don't necessarily know what that is, so I'm going to use a calculator. So uh, one thing to keep in mind while using your calculator is if you check at the mode, there's two ways to express, uh, there's two main ways to express angles, radians and degrees. Make sure that your calculator is in degrees. And so there'll be somewhere where it says rad and deg. Make sure that's it, that's it's in degrees. So then now, if I go back to this, 15 times cosine of 60 degrees, I'll just do that on my calculator. 15 times cosine of 60 degrees, 7.5. Oh, cool. So that means that x must equal 7.5. So that side would be 7.5, whatever the units are uh, long. All right, let's do, let's do another one. So this is 30 degrees. Uh, this is 75. This is a right angle. And this is a y. All right, so I want to find y, that missing side. So here's my angle that I'm based on. And notice I have opposite and adjacent. So if I think about that, opposite and adjacent, that's tangent. So I know that the tangent of 30 degrees should equal opposite over adjacent, y over 75. Cool. So to solve this, I want to get y alone, so I'm just going to multiply both sides by that 75. So 75 times tangent of 30, whatever that is, thank goodness for my calculator, is equal to y. So now I'll go shove this into my calculator and see what it spits out. So 75 tangent of 30. And I know that I've already set my calculator into degrees, so I don't have to check that again. All right, I'm just going to round it out three decimal places. So about 43.301. Why is about that? Cool. Let's do another. So this will be 30 degrees again. But now this will be 52 long, and this one will be x. All right, so... Uh, it looks like I'm going to use tangent again, opposite and adjacent. So I know that tangent of 30 degrees is the opposite side divided by the adjacent side. Now this one's different than the last one because now my, my unknown, my variables in the denominator. So let me multiply both sides by x first just to get it out of there. So x times tangent of 30 degrees is 52. And I still want to know what x is. And tangent of 30 is just a number. So how about I just divide by it to get x all alone? So I have um, x equals 52 divided by tangent of 30 degrees. And shove that in my calculator. 52 divided by tangent of 30. About 90.067. 90.067. Okay, let's do a few more examples then. 45 degrees, 30 long, and x. Oh, and it's a right triangle. And I should have had that here too. Uh, it is a right, these are all right triangles. So it looks like, uh, oh, to me, tangent again, right? Opposite and adjacent. So tangent of 45 degrees is opposite over adjacent. This is a lot like the last one. Multiply both sides by x. 
divide by tangent 45. And I do that on my calculator. 30 divided by tangent of 45. And I get 30 back. It looks like this is, uh, that must be a 45 as well. Oh, yeah, 45, 45, 90. That side would equal that side. So those are, uh, those are both 30. All right, so for this triangle, I know this is a 45 degree angle. This side's 30 and the hypotenuses are. So this one looks like I know from this angle, opposite and hypotenuse, that would be sine. So sine of 45 is going to be opposite over hypotenuse. So I'm going to solve for r, get r, r, r all alone. So I'm going to multiply by r to get it out of that denominator. Then I can divide by that sine 45. So 30 divided by sine of 45 degrees. Let me shove that into my calculator. 30 divided by sine of 45 degrees of 42.426. So this is great. I can find these uh, missing sides, these missing lengths in any triangle that's, that's given at me. Um, so let's say I had a, a situation. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write it. So we have the situation where uh, we have this, this ladder that's 30 feet long, leaned up against some wall, and we know it makes a, a 50 degree angle uh, with the ground like that. And what we want to know is how far the base of the ladder is from the, from the, from the um, wall. And I didn't draw it to scale, um, but let's call that x. So here's my angle that I'm centered on. And notice that the sides I know are the adjacent and the hypotenuse. So I know adjacent and hypotenuse, that looks like a cosine to me. So cosine of 50 degrees is adjacent over hypotenuse. Cool. Uh, solve for x, multiply both sides by 30. So 30 times cosine of 50, let me do that on my calculator. 30 times cosine of 50, looks like 19.284 about. So a trick can be used for all these uh, nice indirect measures where you know some information, you don't have to measure the other information directly, you can just do some calculation to get it there. All right, uh, do that practice and send me any questions that you have.